الرحمن الرحیم علی اللہ مدد فرما الواحد القہار علی اللہ مدد فرما الحی القیوم علی اللہ مدد فرما یا مولا مہربان مدد فرما مدد فرما مدد فرما توفیق تائید ہمت و یاری مولا توفیق تائید ہمت و یاری توفیق تائید ہمت و یاری مولا مشکل کشا مہربان مولا مدد فرما مدد فرما آمین آج ہم شروع کریں گے اگین آر بک سٹیڈی The Holy Quran and the Light of Imamat and today we are going to read the introduction part, right? So who's going to read? I am. Bismillah. Unmute. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Introduction. Praise be to Allah for his favors, for the useful book, the Holy Quran, in the light of Imamat, Quran or Nur al-Imamat, has now been published, having passed through the stage of calligraphy and printing. The most fundamental and the most important concept of the Ismaili Tariqa, which is the perpetual in and inseparable link of the Holy Quran and the light of the Imamat, is discussed in this lovely and desirable book. This subject in itself is so vast and so great that it covers the rest of the religious subjects. The first proof of this fact is that, according to us, 65 by 5, the Holy Quran is Amr, command, and according to verse 4 by 59, the true Imam is Sahib Amr, Lord of Command. Since the command and the Lord of Command comprise everything of religion, there can be no subject, word, or deed of religion beyond their spiritual domain. Another proof of this fact is that the Quran is the book of God, in which there is the explanation of everything, 16 by 89. And the Imam of the time is the holy personality in whom is encompassed everything, 36 by 12. Alhamdulillahi alihi aisanahi ke Quran or nure imamat ka nuksai nafa bi ab kitabat wa tabaat ke mahle se guzar kar shaya ho raha hai. Is piari or dil nashin kitab me smiley mazab ke subse bunyadi or ahem tasavur se behes ki gai hai. Wo esi maskura tasavur hai. اور یہ موضوع فی نفس ہی اتنا وسیع اور عظیم ہے کہ دین کے تمام دوسرے موضوعات اس میں محدود ہو جاتے ہیں اس حقیقت کی پہلی مثال یہ ہے کہ قرآن پاک بمجب ارشاد ربانی آیت نمبر سورہ نمبر سکسٹی فائف آیت نمبر فائف عمر ہے اور امام برحق سلوات اللہ علیہ صاحب عمر سورہ فور آیت ففٹی نائن چنانچہ عمر و صاحب عمر دین کی ہر چیز پر محید ہے لہٰذا دین کا کوئی موضوع اور کوئی کال و فیل قرآن اور نور امامت کے آہتہ آہتہ معنوی سے باہر نہیں ہو سکتا دوسری can I read? So let us now um, review this. So this beautiful introduction starts by the praises. Alhamdulillah ala ahsani. Praise to Allah for his favors. That this useful book, the Quran and the light of Imamat, Quran or Nura Imamat has been published. So yes, calligraphy and printing. But what the main point which has been emphasized here is the title. That when we as a smiley, when we talk about Noor, 
the noor of imamat when it is linked with quran it is such a elevated title that we can realize as smiles especially as a smile in our tarika that the concept of imamat cannot be separated from the holy quran in fact if you were to pick up any verse in quran and when you read the quranic verses with its tawi in reality every verse is actually talking about imam every verse if you look at that it is talking about imam so um, you know there is a call by maula ali that uh, you can read you can divide quran in three parts that one part is praises of ours imamans tarif one part is talking about enemy of uh, imaman and the third part is the part of uh, history or story i'm not 100% sure but then what he says that every part you pick up it relates to ima every words you take even when you talk of the enemy or the shaitan they are in against ima so actually it is about ima again when we understand the tawil then we are able to see the connection very clearly that how this whole book which has 30 sections 114 chapters 600 6666 verses each verse is actually talking about imam and this book this very small book is actually talking about the noor of imam and the holy quran and the subject is so great in itself that if, if you were to take the book quran from any like take any verse or take our tarika from any direction from any rites any ritual any country any practice all will come together under the title of noor e imam it is all due to the noor of imam that everything will get connected to that so alhamdulillah it is the noor of imam which is present very beautifully in quran and sharif you look at any direction you will see imam only given that you are understanding and study studying quran in the light of tabila and the first proof of this fact which we are talking about is according to verse 65 by 5 So tell me who is going to read this uh, translation 65 by 5 I hope each one of us including me we will open up our Quran which we have tagged and we are going to highlight this verse 65 by 5 G 65 was by 5 That is the command of Allah which he has sent down to you And if anyone feared Allah, He will remove this ill from him and will enlarge his reward. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Correct. In Urdu, ये Allah का हुकुम है. ये Allah का हुकुम है जो उसने तुम्हारी तरफ नाज़ल किया, जो Allah से डरेगा, Allah उसको बुराइयों, उसकी बुराइयों को उससे दूर कर देगा और उसको बहुत बड़ा अज़र देगा. Now I would like those of you who just read English. I hope you have transliteration. You will look at the first word, Zalika Amrul Lahi. Remember when we talk in our Jamaat in Jamaat Khana, Amar Amar is given or Amar Ti Ayo Gina. The word Amar, you will find that word as second in this verse, and it is talking about Amar, the command of Allah. and let's now look at the chapter 4 and verse 59 so then we will integrate these two verses and have a discussion on it surah 4 ayat 59 o you who believe obey allah and obey the messenger and obey the authority among you and if you disagree over anything 
refer to refer it to Allah and the Messenger. If you should believe in Allah and the last day, that is the best and the best in results. So in Urdu, I'm gonna read Eloko Ju Iman Laiho, Itat Kuru Allah ki itat karo rasul ki or unki jutum me se sahebe amar. So this verse we actually say it in our dua. Yahilazina Amanu Ati Ullaha wa Ati Rasul wa ulil amra minkum. So I hope those of you who have just begun to pick up the Quran, it is very exciting, I hope, for you to recognize that you do know a part of Arabic words from Quran. So Mubarakbad to you to be able to recognize that, to be able to highlight that. It is an amazing feeling that we do know this book of Quran. And it is talking about those who are believers, be obedient to Allah, which is equals to obedience of Prophet, which is equals to obedience to the sahib amar the Lord of the command, Amar ke Malik. So let's just review that because that's what he, uh, this book is referring to. So the first proof is the fact that according to this verse, which is 65 by five, in which it says that the command of Allah was revealed to you. Why? So he can protect you from bad deeds and for your good deeds, he can give you reward. And then how does that happen when one follows the Amar, the Farman of the Amar? In today's time, who has the Amar? And that Amar actually, Hazri Imam is the one who has the Amar. He is the sahib Amar. Since the command and the Lord of command comprise everything of religion. So when we talk of 65 by five, which talks about the Amar of Allah, which was sent to us. Who is sent to us today to guide us? How do we get the Amar of Allah? That Amar of Allah is actually being obedient to Allah. How can one be obedient to Allah when they are obedient to Prophet? But today is not the time of Prophet. So obedience to Prophet is same as obedience to Imam. So who do we have in today's time? We have Imam. So when we are being obedient to Imam, we are following the Amar of Allah, who is the sahib Amar. It is the Hazir Imam of the time. Nur Malana Shah Kayun Sani Hazir Imam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadu al Imam. Since the command and the Lord of command comprise everything of religion, whatever we talk of our religion, any example you take, any direction you take, it is all united to the Amar, which comes from the Nu. And where does the Nu come from? From the Imam of the time. We take any subject, any word, any deed, literally you take anything, any example. Let's go to Jamaat Khana. When we enter into Jamaat Khana, when we say, Hai Zinda, who are we talking about? We are talking about his Nu who is alive. When we say dua, we are talking whose obedience we are talking about. We are talking about the obedience of the nu, which is in Hazrima. We talk about the word, which is isme azam, supreme name. It is a word in front of us, but within that word, the nur is encompassed. That is the supreme name. When the Noor is completed the way Isma Azam has to be recited, that word is the living word. That word is living word, meaning the Noor of the Imam is in that word. So you take example of an Amal, an action, a deed, you take the example of a subject, you take the example of word, everything in our religion will connect to one and one thing only. That is the nur of the Imam of the time. Another proof, now we'll have to read from there, right? J yes, Nasri. It is necessary for a true mu'min to know the principle that there are many names ordained for the Quran and the Imam. Thus, wherever in the divine speech the Quran is mentioned, the Imam is also necessarily mentioned and vice versa. Because neither is the book without the teacher, 
nor the teacher without the book. By reflecting for a little while, this unchangeable law of religion will be clear that with every perfect and complete thing, there are its accessories too. Otherwise, it remains incomplete. Thus, according to verse 5 by 3, the perfection of Islam and the completion of the divine favor mean that with the Quran has to last its teacher also, and this has continued as a fact. Dusri Bisal ye hai ke Quran Allah Taala ki wo kitab hai jis mein har cheez ka bayan hai. Qurani Hawala Sura 6 Ayat 89 or Imam Zaman wo paak hasti hai jis ki zat mein har cheez mahdood hai. Chapter 30, 36 Ayat 12 is se har danishmat momin Quran or Imam ke dairai ilm wa hikmat ki peh pana wussato ka andaza kar sakta hai. Isi bayan me janne walo ke liye Quran or Imam ke zahiri or batini rapt wa taluk or wabastigi ke maine bhi hai. Jab ke amar or sahibe amar ka bahami rishta ek roshad hakikat hai. اور جبکہ آسمانی کتاب اور ربانی معلم کا مقصد و منشا ایک ہی ہے ایک حقیقی مومن کو یہ اصول جانا چاہیے کہ قرآن اور امام کے بہت سے نام مقرر ہے چنانچہ کلام الہی میں جہاں جہاں قرآن کا تذکرہ فرمایا گیا ہے وہاں لازمی طور پر نور امامت کا ذکر بھی موجود ہے اور جہاں کسی بھی نام سے امام کا ذکر کیا گیا ہے وہاں قرآن بھی ساتھ ہے کیونکہ نہ تو کتاب معلم کے سوا ہے اور نہ ہی معلم کتاب کے بغیر ذرا سوچا جائے تو دین و دنیا کا یہ اٹل قانون واضح ہو جائے گا کہ ہر کامل اور مکمل چیز کے ساتھ ساتھ اس کے لوازم بھی موجود ہوتے ہیں ورنہ وہ چیز نہ مکمل ہوتی ہے چنانچہ ارشاد الہی سورہ فائف آئے تھری کے مطابق اسلام کی تکمیل اور نعمت خداوندی کا اعتمام یہ ہے کہ قرآن کے ساتھ سال معلم قرآن بھی قائم و دائم رہے اور حقیقت حال یہی ہے the second proof now we are talking about the title of the book. How is it related, right? The Noor of Imamat and the Holy Quran. So the second proof, it talks about that anything you take, any topic, any subject, the explanation of everything is actually, is in the book of God in which there is the explanation of everything. So 16 by 89 is the Quranic verse, Surah Nahal, verse 89. Again, we would like to read the translation of this verse. So we understand every verse which is being mentioned here. How is it related to the Noor of the Imam? So we are referring to the Quranic verses too. So one of you can read the translation of 16 by 89. 16 by 89. One day we shall raise from all people a witness against them from amongst themselves. And we shall bring you as a witness against these. And we have sent down to you the book explaining all things, a guide, a mercy, and glad tidings to Muslims. So SubhanAllah, so we read towards the end, he read, that we have sent down to thee the book explaining all things, a guide, a mercy, and glad tidings for Muslims. Now, very interestingly, the book has been described as the guide, as rahmat, and as a mercy. So the Quran itself has the title within it, given by Allah, that this book is such that everything is explained within that book. It is rahmat for the mu'mineen. It is mercy, it is the guidance. 
And now, how does that relate to Imam of the time? We thought this book is a book of paper. But then when we look at the Imam, 36 by 12. Now this verse we all know because we say it in dua. وَكُلَّ شَيْنْ أَحْسَيْنَاهُ فِي إِمَامِ مُبِي Meaning, everything is encompassed within Imam, Imam and Mubi. Meaning that in the Nuraniya, in the Batin of the Imam, this Quran is existing in the Batin of the Imam. And it is the personality of Imam, within the Imam, from the Imam, we are getting that Rahmat, that guidance, that mercy. Why? Because Wakulla Shain Asainahufi Imam in Mubi. Everything which we see is encompassed within the personality of the Imam. Remember, when we talk like that, one can ask, how do you mean that everything is encompassed within the Imam? We do know, we see this physical world, but there is another world which is the world of spirituality, the Batni Dunya. Batni Dunya exists in alam e -Zar, the world of particles. Everything in its essence is encompassed within the Imam. Everything in its essence is encompassed within the Imam, including this book, including this book. Now, anyone who starts studying this book today, all this... I do know for Kareem it is 2 a.m. in the morning, but he's a Mujahid man, he's always there in the class. For Taj Bibi, it is 10 p.m., right? So these are Mujahideen who are warriors and who wants to learn the Talim of the Imam. Very interestingly, when we read this book and when we see these things physically, we think that we are only learning this at a physical level. But remember, we have soul in our body too. We have Mawla's mercy in the form of Isma Azam too. When we are doing our ibadat, when we are studying this ilm, what happens that all this knowledge we study, which is hakiki knowledge about Imam, within our personal world, within our being, the Nuraniyat from this Talim connects to the Batin of our being. And then it enlightens our intellect. It opens up our mind. It opens up our heart. And all this knowledge when we study, it helps us in elevating ourselves in the Nurani time. Remember, we all want one and one thing only, that is to be close to the Noor of the Imam. That is why we are studying this book, because it talks about the Noor of the Imam. But when we study these two verses, 16 by 89 and 36 by 12, so when we look at the verse 16 by 89, it is talking about this book, that this is the book which explains everything everything. It is a guide, it is a mercy, and a glad tidings to Muslim. When we talk of glad tidings, meaning khush khabri, good news, good tidings. And when we say Muslim, Muslim means those who have submitted themselves to the Imam of the time. Muslim means those who have submitted themselves to the Imam of the time. And we all are smileys. We have submitted ourselves to the Imam of the time. Those who submit and then they study this book, this book becomes a mercy for them. Why? Because they are entering in this book with the light of Imam. And when we read this book, this book becomes our guide, our teacher, and it helps us understand concepts within our bathing. Why? Because even this book, in its essence, in its Nuraniyat, exists in the Batin of the Imam. And we are all connected to the Noor of the Imam. And when we sit in Ibadat, with this knowledge, what happens, whatever we have learned intellectually, it helps us spiritually to connect to, connect to that name, that Isme Azam. Remember, it is a beautiful realization that when we sit in Ibadat, it is the mercy of that practice that we start seeking, we start asking questions within our bathroom and we get attracted to ilm classes. When we listen to ilm classes and we gain knowledge, that knowledge in turns, when we listen, we read, 
It goes within our bath in our being, and it helps us to understand these concepts. When we practice, we use our intellect, it helps us to learn these concepts intellectually and within our body. And when we see the nur of the imam, we are able to understand it. We are able to recognize it. Without knowledge, there is no recognition. Without knowledge, there is no realization. So it is for those who study, they get the glad tidings. They get the khush khabri of what? Of getting the teacher of the Quran. Who is that teacher of the Quran? It is the Imam of the time who teaches us in our bathin. The practice starts physically. We have the book, we have the dictionary, we have the Quran. All the resources are there and we are working hard physically. We are trying to understand things intellectually. But the benefit which we will gain will be Nurani time in our Ruhani Nurani Ibadah. And that is what helps us in recognition. When Imam says, come close to my light, link by link, this is the process which helps us come close to that link and continue to make link by link. So it is a circle which we complete every time when we learn every new knowledge, every new concept, we are coming close to that light. How? When we sit in Ibadah, we elevate ourselves. Right? So here it says, a wise moment can estimate the infinite vastness of the domain of knowledge and wisdom of the Quran and the Imam from these proofs. So, Akalman the moment. Wise is who? The one who is Akalman. Akal kaha se aati hai? Elm se aati hai. Akal Parvarish, nourish kaise hoti hai? The beginning of developing this akal actually starts happening when we recite isme azam. Remember, akal is also used for worldly knowledge. Akal helps us become professional in the worldly things. But this akal which we use in our ibadat, in learning this ilm, it is not the worldly akal. This akal actually develops, it truly nurtures when we do ibadat. It is the blessing of the ibadah that we are able to understand these concepts. We are able to use our intellect to comprehend these concepts. And in turn, this knowledge helps us elevate in our ibadah. So it is very much connected. Ilmo ibadat is very much connected. Remember, we always give example of two oars. When we are sitting in a boat, we have to have two oars to move forward. So ilmo ibadat is such that when we have these two together, a moment as Salik continues to walk further and progresses in his or her journey. So every knowledge and wisdom which we want to seek from the Quran and the Imam, all these proofs are in these verses which we have studied. So it will be a very good exercise to go back, open up the Quran again, read these verses and relate these words which we studied from the Quran and reflect upon it. When we sit in Bandagi also, we sit with this dua. You know, before Bandagi, we always should say dua. That, Ya Mola, give me tawfiq ta'id himmat yari to come close to your light. By learning this knowledge and by concentrating on my isme azam. So Imam, when listens to these prayers, a momin sali continues to move further in this journey. Now, then Allah Sahib is saying, in this explanation, there are also the meanings of the physical and spiritual mutual link of the Quran and the Imam is the Kaman and the Lord of Kaman and is the heavenly book and the divine teacher and their purpose, which is one and the same. So truly, what we are understanding here through these verses, we are understanding the meaning physically, and then there is a Batni meaning, which is linked with the Quran and the Imam and the Amar of the Imam. And remember, the Amar of the Imam is for who? Ya Yulazina Amanu, Atiullaha, wa Ati Rasul, wa Ulil Amra Minkum. Those who are obedient to the Imam. When they are obedient to the Imam, 
the link is built of what? Of whatever we are studying physically, it will be linked to our spirituality, right? So when we look at this physical book, which is book of Kuda, heavenly book, and we do know the divine teacher, the Nurani teacher, who is that? He's the Imam of the time. He is literally the one who teaches us in our batin. Physically, whatever we can learn, somebody doesn't know enough English, somebody doesn't know enough Urdu, most of us does not know Arabic, but we all are attempting working hard physically. But the fruits of this knowledge which we learn actually is given to us in our batin when we sit in Bandit. So it is necessary for a true moment to know the principle that there are many names ordained for the Quran and the Imam. So remember again, I will go back to 16 by 89. When we look at this verse, it says that this book has everything, the knowledge of everything in it. Is it the book of the Imam we are talking about? Don't we know everything is within Imam? So what we are saying? Whatever we are saying for the Imam, it is in the book. Whatever we are seeing in the book, it is for the Imam. Because they are same thing. One is silent book, one is a speaking book. Okay? So it is necessary for a true moment to know the principle that there are many names ordained for the Quran and the Imam. Thus, wherever in the divine speech the Quran is mentioned, the Imam is also necessarily mentioned. So when we are reading this verse, 16 by 89, that this book is Hidayat, Imam is Hidayat. This book is Rahmat, Imam is the Rahmat. So do you see how they're interconnected? Then it says further, neither um, the Imam is also necessarily mentioned and vice versa. So when we say everything is encompassed within the Imam, this book in its divinity has everything within it too. And where is this book in its divinity? It's within the Imam. So do you see how it is interrelated so beautifully? Because neither is the book without the teacher nor the teacher without the book. If you only have the book and no teacher, one cannot study the book. And if we have teacher but no book, what will we be learning from the teacher? So they are like lazim or malzum. They are compulsory. They are always together, the book and the teacher. By reflecting for a little while, this unchangeable law of religion will be clear that with every perfect and complete thing, there are its accessories too. Otherwise, it remains incomplete. Now, this is beautiful. Let's take an example for school. When we physically go to school, a school cannot be called a school when there are no students. It will be a building. When the students are there, then it is a school. Now, when students are there, they cannot be called students if there is no teacher present. They will be children. But when the teacher is present and they're teaching the students, then those children will become students. So do you see how they're like compulsory for each other? Without one, other is incomplete. So the way we want to understand the noor of the Imam, we realize the Quran is one or the same. The Noor of Imam and the Holy Quran is one and the same. One is the heavenly book, other is the divine teacher. They both are there and they both are together. One cannot be separate from the other. Thus, according to the verse five by three, the perfection of the Islam and the completion of the divine favor mean that the Quran has to last its teacher also. And this has continued as a fact. So five by three, let's read that so we can relate it completely. What is being said in that verse? G. Okay. So the whoever is reading Karim, read the last part. Okay, five by three. Uh, shall I start, I perfected your religion? Yes. Okay, so five by three, uh, I perfected your religion for you completed my favor upon you and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. But if any is forced by hunger with no inclination uh, to transgression, Allah is indeed of forgiving most merciful. 
subhanahu so thank you so for this beautiful verse what is being related here is just one part of this verse when allah says that this day i have perfected for you your religion it is today that allah says that i have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and approved islam as your religion so for us it is today right now because we are today in this world and we are present in today's time so in today's time this islam has been perfected it is completed the divine favor the rahmat of khuda has been completed in today's time therefore we have the quran we have the imam as a teacher and this is a fact always for those who reach that time and the day when the divine favors are completed what does that mean that means a mu'min is salik who works hard and reaches a stage of recognition a stage of realization a stage where he is able to get the shanakh of the imam that day that day the islam has been perfected for that mu'min is salik you know in other words in simple words i can give you the example of navroz when we say navroz na din suhamra so navroz was in the past when the ginan was written or navroz was one when which uh, we celebrated in iran or during the time of the prophet muhammad the day of navroz is very individual we when we celebrate navroz on 21st march it actually represents the change in the weather but in batni knowledge it is the day when that mu'min is salik reached her or his you know level of batini abilities in nuraniyat when they reach at that stage the divine favors are completed for that mu'min is salik so this verse actually was revealed to prophet muhammad at that time but remember sirat al mustaqim is same whoever follows the farman does do the itaat with ibadat and il what happens for that mu'min is salik a day comes the day of qiyama when all the divine favors are completed for that mu'min is salik in this example we are talking about prophet muhammad that for him it was completed meaning that prophet muhammad was in the time when there was a imam who gave him the ism e azam and when prophet muhammad did the ibadat the way it ought to be done honest ibadat what had happened jibril came to him and what did he say ikra and prophet says oh i don't know how to read it was not about physical reading it was about batni reading so that is what we are trying when we physically we are talking about this reading this is not it it is the reading which will happen in ibadat time in our batin in the nurani time and we will also be told read but when does that majiza happens when we are walking on the path of itaat of farman bardari of learning this knowledge from the quran and farman then we are able to understand the ginans of our peer because our peer said the same said the same thing when we are able to understand then this majiza of completion of the islam happens when does it happen again for the one who understands that when we look at this book physical book it is a book of allah whatever is in this book is actually in batin is present in imam but for us the journey starts physically because we have the physical being we have to study this physically this book intellectually practice and understand realize and then the nuraniyat will follow in the time of nurani ibadat and we will be able to understand so how beautifully it has ended this paragraph that this has continued as a fact it is a fact that the sirat al mustaqim is same for those who walk on the path it is the same path if we follow the conditions the batin is for us imam is our father all what he has in nuraniyat it is given it is kept for us as his children but the condition is that we got to be farman bardar so we'll end here
but I hope that we all are understanding how we are going to study this book. We are going to go slow. We are going to look at the difficult words meaning. I hope you do that at home. We will read the verses especially so we can relate what is being said in the Quranic verses. We can highlight those verses so we can continue to strengthen our understanding, elaborate our mind and, you know, understand these concepts, relate to our learning which we had in the past, we're learning today. And then when we sit in Ibadat, we enjoy, we truly have a joy doing Ibadat of that Imam, on that Ismail Azam. Right? Shukran lillah, walhamdulillah. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.